Hello friends, this is Miss Marie and I am here to welcome you to Craft Club. We are going to make some magic mushrooms today and they will go perfect with our fairy house that we made a couple weeks ago. So here it is. Let's do this. So let's get started. So we have our cork here. We have a paintbrush in our little packet. I have a paper towel and a cup of water so I can rinse my brush in between colors. And here are the cute mushrooms and then we have the acrylic colors. And we have two shades of green, we have a red and we have a white. And this is acrylic paint so you are going to need to wear a smock because if this paint gets on your clothes it's very hard to um, get it off. So let's start with our white paint. I've already opened the paint jar there. So we're gonna don't don't take too much put too much paint on your brush um, because then it takes a very long time to dry. And we are going to paint two coats because there is some writing on our um, cork, and in order for the paint to cover that, we need to. Do, uh, we need to paint two coats. So let's cover the bottom here with white. We can draw a little line like that to separate because the top part, of course, is going to be red. And you don't see these mushrooms very much in the woods here in New Hampshire, but where I grew up, in Sweden these are very common out in the woods and we get told at a very early age not to pick them because you can't eat these mushrooms they are poisonous so we get told to stay away from these but they are so beautiful so pretty and they go perfect with our fairy house so so now we and I covered the bottom too um, so let's see if we can wait um, for about 10 minutes to get that to dry. Now I don't want to paint the red yet because if we do that we don't really have any, we, we can't hold anywhere when we're painting. So if we're doing the red now, um, my fingers are going to get full of white paint. So um, we'll just put this like this and then um, we'll come back in 10 minutes and see if it's dry. And we were ready for our second coat. I actually put my mushroom in front of a fan so it dried a little bit quicker. So you just do the same thing again. Just cover the area with white paint so you can't see any of the cork. and smooth and no blotches because then it takes forever to dry and it's just hard to wait okay and then we'll turn the mushroom over to paint the bottom good. Now we'll let that dry for 10 minutes. So while you're waiting I always wash my brush in between coats because if the paint dries on the brush it's really hard to paint with it. So I just um, clean it off in the cup with water and then just dry it off like this on my paper towel. Yeah now that's dry now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the red container and I have cleaned my brush. I have no white, nothing white on my brush. And we are going to paint the top of the mushroom. Cork. I don't 
the brown. You can do this with any cork. These are um, special corks. They're champagne corks. So they have that mushroom look. But you can do this with any cork. You just buy, you can buy the, if you want to make more than the ones that you have in your little kit, you can buy cork in the craft store. I think that does it for our time to wait for 10 minutes while this dries. So I'll put it down like this and then we can wait a little while longer. And in the meantime, I can clean my brush and let it sit and dry. It has dried for a bit, so we'll continue. And with another coat of red. And hopefully this will color cover the lettering that's on the cork. Start with the top. And then just go over it again with your brush. we're going to add the grass at the bottom of our mushroom and we're going to start with a dark green and fill the brush and then just make grass some tall some short you just do it the way you like it brush if, if the brush gets dry. in the water and then just dry it off on my paper towel and then we'll add the lighter green and then random random places with a lighter and you can have tall and short strands of green now I think the hardest part about painting is the waiting in between coats but you know what you can do while you're waiting you grab one of the library books and do some reading and earn some minutes that you can add to win prizes and uh, you can call the library and order books we have a catalog online that you can look for books at 
and uh, and then come and pick up the books curbside. The librarians are busy all day long finding books in the library, answering phone calls, and putting things out curbside. We are very, very busy. Now I think that looks really good because now we have a dark green and we have a lighter green. But I think I want to have an even lighter green also to add to that. So let's see if we can clean our brush. And then I'm going to use the lid as a mixing palette. So let's put some of this light green color on the lid and then we'll add some of the white. Let's see what we get here when we mix it around. I think I want a little bit lighter. Oh, I don't know. Do you think that looks like a good, maybe a little bit more white? I think that's good because now get an even lighter and you do not have to wait for this to dry. You just add this on top of the other. <clears throat> Does not look nice. We have three shades of green here. And if you want to, you can even add green um, on the bottom. I didn't do that with mine. You certainly welcome to do that with yours. And of course you have two corks in your bag. So I'm just painting one of them. So I think that looks really good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up brush. And then wipe it on the paper towel. And we are going to add the polka dots on top and all I do for that is um, it's not gonna work with a paintbrush that I have but I usually just take the tip of the paintbrush and dip it into the paint um, but I'm gonna have to dip my paintbrush like this and then just all over just put some dots and I do this last because the dots take a lot longer to dry. I would say they take a half hour to dry. So when you're done with the dots, your mushroom is going to have to sit and dry. you want on your mushroom. You should probably have the paint over here so it's easy to reach it. There. Just put little dots all over the place. Not too much paint because then it will run and it won't be dots, it will be streaks. mushroom is done. So much fun. It's going to be perfect for our fairy house. And that's it for today. Enjoy your painting and we'll see you next time.